More than 25 million Nigerians are living with disabilities, and nearly half of them are women. That's according to the World Disability Report. Stakeholders and duty bearers have now been advised to be committed to the sexual, reproductive and health rights of females living with disability. Kemi Faladeyemo has more in this report. In 2019, President Muhammadu Buhari assented to the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act. The law guarantees their rights and privileges to critical services as well as prohibits all forms of discrimination and imposes fines and jail terms for any violations ranging from 100,000 naira, 1 million naira and 6 months imprisonment. But findings from a survey conducted on 18 affected women and girls in Lagos, Edo and the FCT show that discrimination against them continues. They also want to be loved, they also want to love, they also want to give back to children, they also want to be nursing mothers, beyond just being persons with disabilities. So we are advocating for the rights of this group of people, which are special group, women and girl child who are persons with disability, advocating that their their rights and, and should be protected and promoted. The Advocacy for Women with Disabilities initiative says personnel and institutions should show empathy with them and ensure existing services are provided to enhance their inclusivity and empowerment. Women with disability faces three different types of discrimination. Being a woman, she's already discriminated against. Being a woman with disability and also being the poorest in the society. We want a, we want a lot. A woman with disability wants to be recognized in the society as a woman, not somebody uh, giving, receiving the charity. Women with disability also should be considered as women that have needs, especially when it comes to their sexual, reproductive and health rights. When women with disability go to the hospital, imagine among some of us that eventually have the opportunity to be married go to the hospital to assess health care services. There's a lot of discrimination. As a woman with disability, I have the right to, to decide what I want for myself. I have the right over my body. I have the right to be informed about um, health, um, sexual reproductive um, health. And um, as a woman with disabilities, um, whenever I, uh, I find myself maybe and at a place where the people are queuing in order to be attended so i don't have the i have the right not to you know, be on the queue i have to be attended attended to firstly and this efforts to support this group and build their confidence they're also urged to be informed and embrace opportunities around them persons with disabilities for example are suffering gender-based violence and they are not ready to break that silence and come up to seek help you know, those resources, no matter how much we prevail on that agency to be inclusive, there's little they can do because they won't fabricate uh, people on their own. So, and it will also help if we have organizations of, I mean, of women with disability that are directly focus on this issue so that they can liaise directly with such agencies. Kemi Foladeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.